What's going on, guys? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope you're doing well. Um, please let me know if you can hear and see me, and if the audio if you can hear and oh, whoa, 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 whoa! If the audio is good or not, uh, let me know. What's going up, Arnold, Claude? And if you guys can also type in the chat where you're tuning in from, and uh, all of that good stuff. Just want to make sure the audio is coming in and the visual effects are coming in. Just making sure. So just type in the chat, North Carolina. We got Arnold, Fat Fit, Sub Tony from Bakersfield, California, Quebec, Canada. Awesome, Claude. And um, after everybody types in the chat quickly where you're, you're uh, typing in from. What's up, David Lane? Long time no see. North Carolina, David Lane. Marco Ramirez, Mad Max. Joseph, Stephen. Clear as a bell, Stephen says. Yelm, coming in from Yelm, Detroit, Jonesville, Louisiana, everything is good. Las Vegas in the house from Mad Max. Awesome, guys. How's everybody doing? So before, I guess, before we get into everything, um, let me ask you guys, what do you guys think about this whole coronavirus thing? Is it, is everybody panicked and freaked out? Are you guys cool or what's, what's the story on your end? Um, to give you an update on my end, I mean, things are cool here in Hawaii, not that bad yet. Um, you know, I mean, I've been kind of stocking up on certain things, you know, like water and like my propane and food and stuff like that. So some of you guys says, nope, I'm not panicked. I'm cool. Uh, any of you guys playing the stock markets, anybody investing, uh, playing with stocks, Bitcoin is tanking. The Dow Jones is just tanking day after day after day. I mean, we were close to, we were up at 30,000 Dow. Now we're down to 21.5. It's ridiculous. Um, coronavirus has me spooked. The kids and I are sitting around the dinner table eating dinner, tuning in. What's up, Aaron Smith? How's dinner, everyone? <laughs> Hope dinner is good. What are you chowing down on? What are you chowing on? Um, just have to go with the flow. There's not much you can do, but stock on food and water and, and stuff. I am, yes, losing money just like everyone. Yep. As long as you don't sell, Aaron, I think you're good. He's eating salmon. <laughs> nice. That's a good dinner. Buy low, sell high. We'll go back up. I agree. And actually, I invested in Carnival, Norwegian, Delta, Hawaiian Airlines, and then it went down even further. <laughs> But you got a dollar cost average, guys, if you're going to be investing. So kind of, you know, little by little, get in incrementally. I know this is not a stock market channel or talking about options trading or investing. This is more car stuff. But I just wanted to know what you guys are doing out there. You know what I mean? Is Bitcoin okay? Bitcoin's plummeting as well. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, I have some Bitcoin and I'm just sitting on it. Uh, there's, this is no no time to sell. Uh, nobody making fun of preppers now. Agree, agree, totally agree with that, man. Stocks are long term investments. I agree. Um, I'm not planning on it. Ride the waves. Okay, awesome, guys. Anyway, I hope everyone's safe and doing well. Um, I know, you know, New York and Washington and some areas, California, you know, they got some crazy things going on and quarantines and all that. I don't know, man. I think it's just somebody's somebody's on the other side playing playing the game here you know i mean it's a induced i think it's it's induced to to collapse the market so people can short it make their billions and hundreds of millions and millions or you know just basically buy everything up that's how the rich get richer right as to in times of the, in, in times like this is when the real people make, the real big dogs make money. So I'm just trying to figure out, okay, what are they doing? You know, what, what can I learn from this and how can I get in on some action, you know, while being safe at the same time. So everyone just hold your seats. I hope, you know, hope we can keep doing this every week. <laughs> just cancel 2020 altogether. Um, things are dire here in Idaho. Car was nearly 
deserted yesterday while I was cannibalizing some body parts. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, how's everybody else doing? Like, what else is new? Anybody? Uh, any recent new VIPs in the house? What's up, Mike? Any recent VIPs? Um. Or how about we just type in VIPs? How many VIPs in the house? I know probably most of you guys are VIPs um, on, on the call right now. So if you want to talk about your projects, talk about some stuff, I don't care. This is your time for the next 30 minutes or so. So whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm here. Um, I just got back from a farm, like a Kaneohe farm supply where we just bought some chickens. Maybe I can show you, like, literally my daughter's outside in the garage right now, like, playing with her chickens. Um, I just, like, I left at 1230. I'm like, dude, I got to be back by 2 o'clock p.m. my time, which is your Eastern 8 o'clock. I'm like, I got to be back by then so so I could jump on YouTube live with you guys. But um, here is my daughter picking out some chickens. Literally, like, an hour ago, this photo was taken. And we came back with eight little chicks. I'm building a chicken coop downstairs. Maybe you guys want to see that. I'll make like a I'll document some of the video and I'll put it up on YouTube soon, maybe like next week. Kind of like what's going on around, what's going on, you know, around the little, uh, I wouldn't even call this a farmhouse. Our, our lot here is only like 6,700 square feet. It's nothing at all like my Texas home. But um. I just, I'm just trying to keep her busy, you know, cause she, she's into animals and pets and all that. So, you know, she keep her busy and then hopefully in six months, four to six months from now, we get some eggs. It's kind of part of my prepping plan, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I have to wait five months to get eggs, give or take. Um, awesome to see all of you VIPs in the house. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Kev Kelvin says, I want to know more about the pre-order special in the Adam X 27 guns. That pre-order special was done like over a year ago. But if you email in, I can get you guys a special code that I have from Zula. Um, if you want to get 50 bucks off any spray gun at Zula. So if you guys are interested in that, um, I can get you that code. Let me know if you're interested. Um, trying to fill some small rust holes on a 65 Thunderbird. Nice, nice T-Bird. Uh, Gary Jones says, what's up, Tony? Joseph says, uh, awesome families, everything. Absolutely. Arnold says, painted some 2019 Mustang bullet parts today for a friend. Awesome. Um, we got Kevin here from upstate New York. Thinking about doing VIP membership. Tony says, hey, Tony, here in the here in Tennessee, emailed you about discussing metal shrinking a roof hood first time viewer. Thanks. Okay, yes, um, I did get your um, your email, and we do have videos on that in VIP. But you basically would need a shrinking hammer and a dolly, and you basically just heat the area up, but not too much. You tap it, shrink it, and then put some put a cold like a, a wet rag on it. It doesn't have to be ice cold, but just a wet rag on it uh, to kind of let that cure up a little bit and uh and harden uh, mad max says how do i spray single stage paint over chrome can it be done yes absolutely it can be done um what i would do is 80 grit your chrome okay with a da get it scuffed up then i would put some 2k filler primer on it or you could even do a etching primer it doesn't matter whatever you want to do i've done both and had the same exact results the only problem is because chrome bumpers are really hard, I say that if you do the 2K primer, it's going to give you a little bit more cushion, okay? Uh, if you do it with etching primer, guys, if a rock hits it, it'll literally chip and you'll get like, it, it could chip right off. So I would definitely maybe, you could etch prime it if you want and then lay two, three coats of uh, 2K filler primer. It's kind of, it's a little softer than the etching primer. And then um, sand that down with like 400 grit and then you're ready for um, your, oh, you're doing a uh, single stage. So you could even finish sanding it with like a 360. You'll be fine. But anywhere from 360 to 400, uh, you basically, uh, you could just paint right over it. No problem. Bitcoin is dropping like a, like a ball. That was that notification. Um, so that's my, 
I trashed my roof project with a torch. Well, Tony, roofs are very, very difficult. I mean, very hard. Even for professionals, roofs are very hard because they're so flimsy. So even if you're like block sanding parts of it, because the, the area on a roof is so huge, it's hard to block because every time, because when you block, you need to put pressure on it. So when you're blocking, where's my block? It's in the garage. You know, if you put pressure on it, it's going to buckle. So it's very, you got to really take your time when blocking out roofs, some, some trunks on, on larger cars like classics and hoods. Um, you really got to take your time. Like I did a project in VIP, the mini truck, the Japanese mini truck, the, the side door panel was so thin, kind of like paper. And I really had to hold my straight sander very lightly against it. So I wouldn't buckle it and screw up my body work. So I actually, it was actually step-by-step -step detail going over that project, like showing you how to really do it and block it out softly, like not by putting too much pressure, but getting it flat to where it looks great. You guys get what I'm saying? Um, okay. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. David Lane says, hey, Tony, I'm working on a tailgate on an F-250, and I'm trying to pull a dent out, and the dent keeps popping back in. What can I do about that? Okay, so when you're pulling the dent out, if you're using uh, pins, like, you know, your little tack pins, you need to tap around it to harden up the metal. So if you're pulling your pin, it's hard for me because I'm not in the garage. I'm not working on a car. I can't show you right now. But let's say, <laughs> let's do a a blatant pitch for my 29 secrets of car flipping. If you guys want to know how to flip cars, it's on Amazon. <laughs> anyway, say this is your panel and you have a dent in the middle and this is your welded pin. While you're pulling the pin out, okay, you want to make sure you tap. So say this is my hammer. God, this is like improvising, dude. Shit. Say, oh God, my staple came out. Say this is my hammer, okay? You want to tap around the area while you're pulling this out, okay, with your slide hammer, okay? Tap around here to strengthen up the metal. That's going to strengthen it up. You might need a couple of tacks, but you want to, the dent is, the dent comes out like that, right? So you're, you're pulling it. And then you need to tap around it to kind of expand the metal and get it solid. I don't know. Hopefully that makes sense. But I would try doing that. Okay. That'll definitely help you. Um, painting a car in an outside garage, wet floor or wet floor and put plastic. I would say a wet floor would be okay. You know, as long as the your, your garage is pretty much sealed up and you got some good ventilation fan, you know, basically to take out all the, uh, overspray, right. And fog, you should be fine. Okay. Um, how did, how did I learn to do auto body work? Well, I grew up doing auto body work. My dad had a shop for like, I don't know, 20, 20 years by the time I was born. So well, by the time I got into it, he's been doing auto body for 20 years. So I painted my first car at 14 and a half years old. Literally painted a full car at 14 and a half. Kind of crazy, um, but I did it. And before that, I painted, I was painting motorcycles and scooters and all of that. So that's how I got into body work from just doing it um, and working in the shop. Um, will the heat from sanding mess up a bit? Not really. No, I wouldn't worry about that, Tony. How do you take out? Quarter panel, how do you take out any quarter panel with fast any clue? Well, you can either cut it out. How do you take out any quarter panel with fast any clue? Well, you basically have to cut it out. And if you have spot welds, there's a special bit where you can drill out the spot welds and basically pop the panel out. And then you replace it, you weld it, and tack it together. I mean, that's how you do it. Um, awesome, David. Um, Marco says, Tony, when sanding bare metal, you get rust flash. How do you get rid of that? Well, you basically have to prime it. So 
if you're doing like a huge job and you're taking it down to metal, I would basically just do sections at a time and cover it with etch primer so you don't get surface rust. Okay. I mean, depending on the weather and the location, you can have surface rust after a day. It could take three, four days. It could take a week. You know, it all depends. Steven says, I use a 16 inch round plywood with foam pad and long dowel rod to put pressure from inside to support the roof and blocking might not work on all cars. That's a great idea, Steven. That's a fantastic idea. I've never had to do that, but that makes sense. You could put something underneath that holds it like that, right? Holds your roof so you could do your body work. I guess just make sure you don't screw up your headliner. Gary says, working on a 64 Pontiac Trans M WS6. Conversion of the fenders has some slight warping. There's a good product to use to flatten them out. Is there a good product to use to flatten them out? Some slight warping to it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what you're looking at, conversion. I'm not sure exactly what you're looking at, Gary. If you could send me a private video or images, I can probably help you out a lot better. So if you want to send in some video or images, just send it into Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Um, I mean, I don't know if you're talking about a, um, a wheel well roller where you can get rid of the lip, you know, like roll it out. There's something that you can hook up to your hub. You know, if you want to kind of eliminate your wheel well, and you just roll it, you roll your, but I don't know if that's, I don't think that leave. Bondo brand. Uh, Mad Max says, I was sanding and painting Hot Wheel cars when I was 10. I would mask off all the windows. Oh my God, that's awesome, dude. Good idea, Steve, about the round plywood thingy. Kudos. Um, replacing upper quarter panel patch on Denali. Worried about warping with MIG. Can't, can it be arc welded instead? How many CFMPs I do I need to become a spraying a vehicle? Um, I believe, I guess you could arc weld it. Um, even if you're doing make, why don't you just stick with tax? Wait till it cools, do more tax, wait till it cools. Another way to do it. Um, how many CFM pressure do I need to be comfortable spraying a vehicle? So when spraying base coat, clear coat, you want to be spraying base coat at about 25, 26, 27 PSI, depending. Okay, wide open um, material flow, clear coat, 27, 28, 29 PSI in that area. Of course, it all depends on what spray gun you're using um, and your material mixture and all of that. But give or take, those are the, the PSIs. Um, as far as CFM, it all depends on your tank output. Um, I'm not sure what you're running at the moment, but... It I think volume is very important as well because you, you want to make sure you have enough volume because if you have a tank, a 20 gallon, 30 gallon tank, it's going to be a little tough painting a car. It can be done, like I said, but it's going to be a little tough because you have to play the catch up game. You got to wait till your tank fills up, spray, and it's not powerful enough to compress enough air to refill for you. You know, that's why having a, um, that's why having a, uh, uh, 60 gallon tank is, much more safer and, and it'll basically do what you need to do. Yeah. 60 gallon is, is, is all you need for any type of paint job. Um, 80 gallon is overkill, but if you, if you, you know, have a shop of two, two guys working in it and 80 gallons, I'll, I'll be fine. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I would get a 80 gallon, man. Something that puts out about 15 to 18, um, SCFM at 40 pounds, you should be fine. Okay. No, the polyurethane fender has some dipping. Mm. Well, I would basically, Gary, just body work it as best as you can and block it out. You know, tap tap the dents out from behind and um, just body work it. LR Wilson. Hey, Tony, while sanding my quarter panel, I flattened out part of the body line. Would I use putty filler to make up the missing line? Yes, absolutely. Yep. Tony says, is it good to use kitty hair on the welded seams in your quarter pound before mudding it? May keep moisture out. Your thoughts? That's not a bad idea. You could do that. Absolutely. Um, for more strength as well. Yep, you could do that. 
Um, Steven says, Arnold, heat gun can help and the eraser wheels for removing adhesive stickers. Absolutely. Good content. What's that? What's what? In there. Nothing. What are you doing? Oh, it poops on your shirt? No. Oh. I'm just taking it off because... Did you bring it? How are the chickens? Huh? Good. They're good. 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 Uh, okay. Sweet, guys. If you haven't yet, click the like button if you haven't. Mm. So Stephen says, heat gun can help you. Yeah, I read that. Okay. Can you use lead to fill small rust holes or Bondo? Yes, you can. That's actually super old school, but you can use lead. I mean, that's old school gangster style right there. Actually, I took a class uh, with lead filling with Gene Winfield about a year and a half ago, two years ago, maybe two years ago. And I have that entire series in VIP. Have any of you VIPs seen kind of what I filmed? Um, I was practicing on a front fender Stanley Wig 400 West. Let's put it. Tony, I painted my first car using your tips and looks great all the way from Trinidad. That's awesome, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for the awesome comment. Okay. Um... So, okay, guys, let's do a giveaway. Any v type in all the VIPs in here, all the VIPs on the call right now, who has not ever won anything? Only the guys who didn't win. I know a lot of people are winning. I've been giving away a lot of stuff recently. So all the VIPs, type in VIP never, never won. Type in VIP never won. I just want to kind of see VIP I have never, VIP never won, VIP never won, VIP never won. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We got a lot of VIPs who never won anything. God. Okay, David Lane, you too. Okay, oh my goodness. God, I'm starting to feel bad here. We got a lot of dudes in here who never won. Arnold never won. <laughs> All right, so for all the VIPs here who never won, let's just do, instead of doing like a Q&A, let's just do the number game again. Okay, I'm going to pick a number from 1 to 50. Okay, don't answer yet. Don't answer yet. Don't answer yet. I'm going to pick a number from 1 to 50. Whoever guesses the number on my screen first. Okay, my screen first. I will get you a product from Zula.com. I mean, I don't know. I can buy you a gun bud. Any, any of you guys want a gun bud? Or I'll buy you a cleaning kit, spray gun cleaning kit. And maybe we'll do two winners. We'll pick two people. So we'll play the game twice, okay? What do you guys want? A 17-piece cleaning kit or a gun bud? What do you guys want? I don't know. You guys, you guys tell me, and then we'll just give away two of one of these things, or we can do one and one. So some people are saying kit. So we'll give away one and one. Uh, some people are saying gun bud, cleaning kit, VIP never won, cleaning kit, gun buddy. Okay, so guys, we'll give away one and one. All right. So let's see. I'm going to write a number down. I'm going to write two numbers down, okay? And then we're going to play twice. We're going to play twice. So I'm going to write my first number down. Between 1 and 50. Okay? Go. I already wrote my number down. Go. Come on, guys. First one. You guys are way too high. You guys are way too high. I'll give you guys a little tip. Way too high. Way too high. Getting close, but still high. <laughs> okay, Kevin Y. Kevin Y. 
Okay. Kevin, what do you want? I'll let you pick. Gun bud or the cleaning kit? Congratulations. Oh, I have something really cool here. Congratulations. We'll play one more time, guys. No worries. We'll play one more time. We'll play one more time, guys. Uh... All right, Kevin. All right, Kevin. Kevin, all right. Okay, Kevin, you know what to do. Email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com and tell them you want a gun bud. Okay. Um, again, I don't mind buying these products from you. Oh, you are. But just help me with shipping. Okay. So I don't know, $8 shipping. Okay. Help me with eight bucks shipping for this. Okay. I hope that, I hope you're okay with that. Okay. Cool. So that's yours. Just email, tell them you won the gun bud, and uh, I guess they'll send you a link or whatever. You can take care of it. Okay, one more time, guys. Kevin, you're out of the game. You're out of the game. Kevin, you're out. Okay, I'm going to pick another number. Let's just do another number from 75 to 100, okay? From 75 to 100. I already got my number from 75 to 100. Go. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Close, 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 close. 75. Oh, Justin. Justin. Justin got it. Justin. That was quick. Justin Powell. What do you want, Justin? What do you want, Justin? Let me know what you want, Justin. Next time, guys, don't worry. We'll give away more stuff. I'll buy you more stuff next time, guys. You got plenty of plenty of chances to win. Uh, what do you want, um, Mr. Justin Powell? You won. Uh, you want a free gun bud ultra lighting system? Or you want a cleaning kit? You tell me. I will buy it and have Zula ship it out for you. Oh, shit. Okay, let's let's play. Let's do it. Can you guys forgive me? I have a lot on my mind. Let's do it again. Fuck, what an idiot, dude. I am such an idiot. I am such an idiot. God, what an idiot. Dude, that was that was ridiculous. Okay, sorry guys. It's hot in here, dude. My AC is like not even working. God. All right, guys. Sorry. Let's do it again. From 75 to 100, I got my number. Go. From 75 to 100. <sighs> Excuses. Yeah. So you don't win. I'm sorry, dude. Keep playing, guys. I got my number. You guys are close. You guys are close. <laughs> Keep going. I'll tell you what. Justin Powell, uh, you'll win anyway. It was my my bad, so you win. Keep going. You guys don't have it yet. God, this is easy because you guys have unlimited plates. <sighs> Come on, keep going, guys. 75. You got some of you guys are very close. Like Arnold, very close. Come on, man. Nobody is getting it. Come on, keep going. L.R. Wilson, very close. Wow, this is a hard one. Nobody can guess this one. David Lane, very close. Marco, very close. Arnold, very close. God. Holy crap, dude. I think we're going to be here forever. Wow. Arnold, very close. Marco, very close. <laughs> I still don't see it. Man, you guys are bad. You guys are very bad.
Nobody's getting it. Nobody is getting the number. Justin's close. Justin, you already won, man. Joseph is close. Like when I say close, you're one to two numbers off. Man, guys, Arnold, you're, wow, this is like the magic number nobody can guess. I'm shocked. 75 to 100. Nobody got it. Should we just go back to Q&A? Should we just go back to q and I don't think you guys want to win. Nope, 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 nope. Joseph, you're very close. Man, I think I'm going to make another cup of coffee. Dude, this is ridiculous. I can't believe you guys. Joseph Powell, for my mistake earlier, I'm giving you a product, okay? You guys want to just give up? Because nobody's getting it. Somebody just needs to type in the number one by one. I mean, okay, I'll give you guys a hint. It's in the 80s. It's in the 80s. And it's not what you've been typing so far. Keep going. Oh my God. I still don't see it. It's in the eighties guys. Holy shit. This is crazy. This is some sort of psychological thing that nobody picks this number because none of you guys have it. I'm telling you it's in the eighties and no, nobody here has it. All right, slow down. God, this is bad. Nobody got it. Okay, I think we're going to end it, guys. No winner. No winner. Time's up. You didn't do every number, David Lane. Time's up. Stop. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Everyone stop. David Lane, be honest. Did you do 88? I didn't I didn't see 88. Okay, stop, guys. Yeah. Everybody's saying they did 88, but I didn't see it. I don't see 88. Okay, stop typing the numbers. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go back. I really don't see 88, guys. I see a lot of 89s. I see 87s. I see David Lane, you put 80, 89. I think everybody's full of shit because I don't see any 88s, guys. 87, David Lane again. 86, David Lane. 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. I don't see your 88. 80, 86. You guys are funny. Okay, David Lane, let me see. Scroll back a little bit more. Let me go back through and find it. Okay, let's see. 
You guys are funny, dude. This is we have to find another way to do this. Like I gotta think of another idea instead of the numbers thing. I went through every number. Okay, let's see. David Lane. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. You know what? Maybe it's not showing on my end. Because the last one I see from you, David Lane, is 87, and then it goes to 89. There is no 88. I don't see an 88 on my side. I swear to God. And there's no reason why I would say I did but didn't. Seriously, guys, maybe 88's not going through for some reason if you type it in on my end. I don't know. Maybe it's like a, a glitch. Seriously? But that's fucking weird. Dude, I bet you, I bet you that's what it is. It's got to be a glitch. Morgan, Morgan says, I went back and I don't see an 88 either. Okay, whatever the case, guys, we'll do, we'll do another way next time. But David Lane, I'll just give it to you, whatever you want, um, the kit or the gun bud. Next yeah, it's weird. 88, the number 88's not coming through on my screen. Maybe that's why nobody guessed it, or it looked like it appeared that nobody would. So, like, people are saying they're seeing theirs, but I don't see it on my screen, dude. That's very weird. That's very, very weird. Can you guys see that? Yep, I guess you can. I see mine, but no one else. Super weird. You see what I'm saying? It's got to be some sort of chat glitch where the number 88's not showing. Okay, Justin, Justin, email um, j to confirm, Justin, you need to be a VIP member, okay? Whoever is winning needs, we're going to check, the girls are going to check to make sure you are a VIP member. So we're just going to give it to Justin since I screwed up. I, I said 75 to 100, I picked 69 and what a, what a freaking idiot I am. Hey, Steven, you might win one day. You might win one day, Stephen. So that's it, guys. Email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com and tell them what you want, um, the gun bud or a cleaning kit, and just help with $8 shipping and handling. I mean, I'm, I lose money on this, guys. You guys know I'm not making up any money on this. So this is costing me money to do this for you guys. So Justin, you're, you mean to tell me you're not VIP? Yes, David Lane, you got one. David Lane, you got one. Whatever you want, pick one. Email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. You could pick a gun bud or a cleaning kit. Okay, guys? Tell them what you want and then help with eight bucks shipping and handling. They'll send you a link. What's up, West Texas? Why only VIP? Because it's for VIPs. It's for VIPs. I said in the beginning, guys, this is for VIPs. Yeah. Sorry, Justin. If you want to learn more about VIP, uh, you can talk to the other VIP guys. Arnold says, how about me? I said 88 at 832, but oh, well, next time. Arnold, next time, dude, because I'm... Okay, I'll tell you what, Arnold... Arnold, you can have it as well because we're not giving it to Justin. He's not a VIP. So Arnold, email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. That's it. Okay. I know a lot of you guys said 88, but I didn't see it on my screen. And that was the rule for you for me to see it on my screen. And I didn't see it. I didn't see anybody. Yes, at eight dollars shipping and handling. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Email ninja support at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Tell me you won the free cleaning kit or gun bud, and they'll send you a PayPal link or whatever to um, to pay to pay that. And then I'll buy this. We'll have my girls buy this and ship it to you. All right. So I hope all is well, guys. We're on like forty minutes. I'm gonna head out. Um, I got some things I gotta do. What's up, Big Tony Lou from Brooklyn, New York? Yo, what's up, New York? How is New York? 
I've been having issues with YouTube showing all comments. Um, yeah, guys. Anyway, thank you for getting on. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Just stay out of those quarantine lo lockdown locations, I guess. I don't know, man. God bless to everybody. Um, hope to see you guys next week. Um, Tony, if you want, I'll wait. I don't know what you mean. Arnold. Corona lights, Tony. <laughs> Enjoy, be safe. Okay, guys, so have a great weekend. Um, Arnold, just email in. Tell him you won. I mean, I told you you won, so, I mean, you got it. You got it, buddy. Brisbane, Australia. What's up, Rex? Thanks for getting on. Send pictures to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. You got it, David. You got it, Arnold. Congratulations. We're gonna, I'm gonna find a different way to, to do these giveaways. And maybe if you guys have any ideas on how we can do more giveaways, I mean the other thing I could do is ask auto body technical questions. I don't know if you guys want to do that. I mean, that's cool, but it could get boring, you know. I mean, we could go back to doing some of that if you want. Um, no problem, Kevin. From me to you, congratulations. Yes, get with me with Inner Circle, Tony Ritchie. I'm actually going to be doing a promo at the end of the month uh, for my new coaching program on starting up online businesses. I think right now we have even more opportunity than ever because of even because of all the crap going on, you want to have a business that you can monetize on, online. I mean, a lot of people are going to have to start working from home. Who knows what the hell's going to happen with this virus thing? But just don't, just don't flush your uh, gloves down the toilet. Loved your work. Loved your work with your godfather. That was an awesome project, by the way. That was an awesome project. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I'm going to be, I'll film like what we're doing with the chicken coop downstairs. So you guys can see like my home life around here and I'll, I'll put it up to YouTube soon. Uh, my CX five project is going to be coming out within a day or two. Please give me some time. Like I'm almost done with it. You guys are going to love it. I can't wait to see uh, your comments and everything else on that thing. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day for all you newbies on here um, who don't know what, uh, the VIP program is all about. Um, all you have to do is go over here to check VIP out. Um, for all you non-VIP guys, it's literally pennies on the dollar, the information that you are going to get by going through VIP. You guys can learn more about that here. And you get to participate in cool giveaways that we do every single week like this. And um, I guarantee over time, we're going to have a lot of VIP winners. All right. So again, thanks guys for getting on. Talk to you later. Oh, I forgot to mention GunBud um, at Zula.com. They're doing a special right now. You buy two, you get one free. So if you have like friends and family or you want to, you want to stock up on two of them and get one free, um, there's a special that ends tonight, um, Eastern time tonight, where you can get two gun buds and get one free. So if you want to check that out, there's the link for that. Other than that, um, thank you guys, and I'll see you on next week. Have a great day. Um, Sherry, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the bell notification on so when we go live, it'll kind of it'll send you like a little little update thing. That looks like this. I guess I don't have any notifications. Uh, all I have is like stock market crashing updates. Bitcoin. No, I don't. I don't see it anyway. But you will get a notification. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sherry. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a great day. And here's the buy two, get one free for gun, bud. If you guys just want to buy it, talk to you soon. Peace. See you guys next week. Cheers. Um, spray gun coupon. Yes. 
Let me look for it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let me look for it right now. Um, hold on. I'll just stay on with you right now while I look for it. I had it here on my file somewhere. Hold on one second. Um, okay. Well, let me see. I think I got it. Okay, I think this is it, guys. Um, this is for 50 bucks off. And I think this works, so try it out for me. At Zula.com, that's the code. Here's the code for Zula.com. I'm going to put it in a couple times. That's to get 50 bucks off um, any spray gun. I believe any spray gun. But try it out. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace. Thank you, Rex. I appreciate it. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Aloha.